Hello and welcome back to MFAC Coaching. If you are here for the first time, welcome. If you found me through one of the uh, YouTube collaboration loops, I'm so glad you're still here. Um, and if you found me because you're looking for a review of Silk and Sonder, that is wonderful also. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I did with the September Silk and Sonder. Then I'll walk you through the October Silk and Sonder and then do a quick plan with me um, to show you how I schedule a week. And before I do that, I am going to um, insert here a little video where we talk about uh, the winner of my last giveaway. So here we go. Hello and welcome to the Wheel of Names as I spin to see who uh, is winning this month's giveaway. So this is from the July to August video. These are the names of the people who commented uh, on my video. So thank you so much for giving me that feedback. It's so great to hear from all of you. You're so smart. Many of you guessed the correct um correct word uh, from the riddle. Um, and uh, let's see how we do. Click spin. Oh, yeah, okay. Click to spin. There we go. <laughs> the winner is... Creatively Lisa Marie. All right. I will send you some fun planner stuff. Um, and thank you so much for uh, watching today. Now back to the video. In September, I used this charm from Doodleberry. Just seemed very, uh, the start of fall, the end of summer, the start of fall with this beautiful sunflower. And just these cute charms. Doodleberry does such a great job with their charms. And then um, we'll go through the September one. I want to congratulate the winner of my last giveaway. Uh, contact me and I will be sending you uh, some free planner items. Uh, there's always some stickers. Um, there's some items that come with my, um, I have a Patreon group that deals with emotions. So you'll get some items from that, talk about different emotions in different ways, um, and then some fun planner supplies. All right, in September, the focus was flourish, and you can tell that I definitely um, take this around with me as it gets a little dirty. Uh, well loved, let's call it well loved. Um, so let's just see how I did in using it this month. This was my monthly spread that I created with stickers from Mrs. Grossman. Nope, sorry, from Hipsticks. Um, these are just so much fun. Had a kind of a out of this world star theme. It was get the future log the next two months. Filled out my August reflections. My September intentions. My mood tracker, which I actually changed to a food tracker. So this is how hungry I am to not at all hungry to starving. Um, so you can see I went kind of back and forth in the beginning of the month. Um, and then I was pretty hungry throughout most of the month and then just kind of evened out a little bit. So these last two weeks have been a bit more even and that has, I have to say, been pretty nice. It's easier to plan uh, when I know that I'm going to um, be hungry. And then my habit tracker, I actually filled it out for the entire month. So that might be a first for the year. I'm not really sure I'd have to go back. Um, to see how well I've done. So it feels good to get the entire month done. Today is the 30th, uh, but you can see I'm still struggling to track a few things, actually do a few things, um, but I've been tracking these things all year, um, putting on makeup every day, wearing jewelry, filling my water bottle, journaling, brushing and flossing my teeth, and washing my 
space. Uh, and so um, I've been tracking that all year. So at the end of the year, I'll be able to show you how I did with all of those items and to decide in January if I'm going to stick with those items or not. Um, the exercise tracker, I kind of fell off because I actually chose to do a whole other planner um, about exercise and um, food. Uh, so you're going to see that this is going to fall off, but I did some different cr CrossFit workouts this month. Um, I did a lot more these two weeks. Um, so that's, it's just kind of funny that when I started doing more, I stopped doing them in this uh, planner. But that's all right. Got my gratitude jar, which I didn't do. Uh, my flourishing prompts where I've learned that um, I just don't track time very well. So when people ask when's the last time I lost track of time, I'm like, well, that was like, I don't know, earlier today. Like, I just, um, yeah, it's a hard question for me to answer. I'm like, when I do almost anything, I lose track of time. Uh, but then these are some of the big things that um, really fill me up. Reading, cooking, laughing, sleeping. Um, these were, this was an idea of things like these are some of my passions, my vocations, professions, my radical inclusion is my mission. I didn't do the Times Square billboards. I think these are really cute ideas. So I definitely want to take some stickers and put my name and do some things in lights. Um, yeah. Wasn't able to do the coloring, the nature game. I haven't done the pork chops though I really think this um, is something I want to do um, I, f I, did, I don't know after the day seven I kind of stopped with the mandala it's a really fun idea um, I felt I didn't I need to make these more specific when I do them um, here's the word wheel all right for the answer for the to be the winner of next month what word of five letters has only one left when two letters are removed? You have until the end of this month to put your answer in. And this is my expense tracker. And as you can see, I pretty much stopped tracking that after day five. I've got to figure out a way to do this better. I might just need to add a planner. Then this was mainly the month of August. So this week I was in my August one, but you get it. So you can, if you're someone who needs to start the planner in the first day of the month, you could do that. Um, it's just not how I was rolling. So this is the first week of the month. Um, this is follow the stars. I love this spread, even though I didn't use this portion of it. Um, I was just so so busy i wasn't able to fill this part out but this is just i just love it i love these little um star foxes from crafty bee design studios uh, but then i just love like the idea is that you're following the stars like i just had so much fun with it this month or this week um yeah and then you can just see i wasn't able to to do it much um, I had been gone for two weeks up until this point, and I just, it was everything I, I needed. Everything in me was just focusing on getting through this week. Um, being gone for two weeks was great, and I loved it, but it, just coming back after that was a lot. Um, but I did do my Currently page, did it really quick. I just kind of knocked it out. Um... So, not as pretty, but it is kind of fun. I really like it. Then here is the next week. This was uh, Labor Day, I think. Um, and so I did a kind of red, white, and blue. It looks, on my, it looks like red, white, and yellow. Sometimes it looks like pink, but it's this uh, clear, iridescent, uh, very fun washi. Then these were uh, Planner Envy stickers and some stickers I got at Michael's to celebrate those who are in the armed services. Then this was a spread in honor of my uh, one of my planner besties, um, her birthday. 
And now you can see I'm finally back in my planner. I'm finally able to get things done. This is more of a traditional week. And then this is the start of fall. These are all designer chameleon stickers. This was fall festival was the theme. And I just, oh, these are just, they're just so gorgeous. They make me feel like I'm like in a home. Maybe I've been to a festival. Maybe I'm just decorating for fall, but I just really enjoy how this spread and how these stickers make me feel. And then I was really able to use all of this this week. It felt so good. Um, and then I used pretty much every page of this planner this month. So that's September. And then now let's look at <clears throat> October. So the word for October is perseverance. This is one of my favorite words on the planet. Um, I will always talk about being uh, impatient, but I will persevere like the best of us. Uh, it's um, so essentially like I am happy to wait as long as I'm not just having to sit and wait. If I can wait while being entertained, that is fine. I will wait all day for that. So let's just go through what it looks like when it's blank. Get a letter about perseverance from the creator. Her name's Miha. If you don't know, Silk and Sonder also has groups that you can join. They have a free app. Uh, sometimes they sell stickers. I haven't looked at their stickers for a while to know if they're still doing that. Uh, they sometimes sell candles. They have little sets. They have a, one of these for kids. Uh, so it's, yeah, they, they're doing a lot um, to really help with both planning, but also just mental health. So it's a really nice community if you need that also. Persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success perseverance get the whole month layout here's the month I should say this is the whole year layout there we go this is just the month of October get the next three months I cannot believe that we'll already be looking at December we got the Wheel of Life. You get one of these by quarterly, so you can kind of compare to the past. Get your September reflections, your October intentions. So here you'll see their original concepts. And then here's what I changed those to. So um, their intentions, they say to set intentions for spiritual health, personal life, physical health, key relationships, money management, and professional goals. I swap those out. I have uh, my intentions for my coaching, my teaching, my podcasting, the things I do on Instagram, my money management, that one stays the same, and then my relationships. So these two stay the same. I just put them, well, I leave that one there. I move that one down, but it, that's just uh, <laughs> um, so that I can remember, put all the kind of job related stuff first. have a mood tracker um, again, which I may have changed into a hunger tracker to try and track um, how my hunger happens uh, throughout the month. I'm gonna continue to do that. Um, I will, however, um, make this kind of a pumpkin. I will do this in different shades of orange and brown, and um, I will draw kind of a, uh, a the stem of a pumpkin up here and use this like a pumpkin. I just, I find that really cute in the month of October. I really like this format better because you can do fun things like that. Um, I still haven't found a good way to make um, this other format. Come on. I haven't found a good way to make this format really work for me. But we'll, we'll see. And then the habits this month. Again, I will do the same habits I've been doing all year. Um, I will try and track my weight, the makeup, my jewelry. Uh, I'll fill my water bottle at least once, if not twice, depending on which water bottle I'm using. Um, try journal every day, floss and brush my teeth, and wash my face. Um, have that sleep tracker for those that you need it. I changed that to an exercise tracker. I don't know what I will do with it, if anything, this month. 
Um, I have my gratitude log. I might make this a reading tracker and just talk about how much I got to read that day. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and maybe track what I read, but I read a lot. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Sorry. You get the gratitude log. I really do like it when it's in this format, even though you have a lot less to be able to write in these first few days and a lot more. Um, I just think it's really pretty. Persevering journal and journal prompts says fueled by passion. Perseverance is our continuous drive to improve ourselves through constant effort. What do you know that possesses great perseverance? Who do you know? What can you learn from them? When was a time that you persevered and succeeded in something despite failing initially? What traits, qualities, and mindsets do you need to persevere successfully? Oh, this one might be my favorite. Your superpowers. Make a list of your superpowers. What are the qualities you already possess that help you manage and overcome challenges? That is, oh, I love that. That's my favorite thing they've maybe ever done. Oh, I love that. Okay. Uh, perseverance letter. Uh, write down phrases to encourage yourself um, to keep going. A little. You always get a little poem. Ooh, look at that. That's a really pretty pumpkin. That is so much fun. I love it. That'll be fun to color this month. Perseverance sketch. Um, these I really like to do as like vision boards. Spiced maple pancakes. Oh, those sound really good. We might need to do those. Mm. Okay, I want to do those. Um, it says it's inspired by and images are from allrecipes.com. That's really cute. You get to create your own bingo board this month at activities to get inspiration. Um, they have a companion app. Um, challenge yourself to get a row or a full house. This will be fun. I think I would make this more like in October, like things I wanna do in October to help uh, commemorate fall and um, Halloween. Oh, that'll be fun. Things like choose my Halloween costume, maybe decorate the house a little, uh, some fall cleaning. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm already, I'm super excited about this. Apple picking, okay. You get some blank pages, which I always really appreciate. Your word scramble. Um, like this is gonna be perseverance. <laughs> I love these. Ooh, look at these are words. What word is that many long? Wow, okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what, what these words are, okay. All right, let's look again at the riddle. See if anyone got the right answer. What word of five letters has only Ah oh, guys, they do they messed it up. Yeah. So we got another month to figure it out. Cause they're they did the same riddle. This is so funny. Their answer key is the answer not to September, but to July. And then they use the same riddle in both August and both September and October. Oopsies. All right, well, we have another month to try and figure out what word of five letters has only one left when two letters are removed. I still think it's the word shown, S-H-O-N-E. There's only one O-N-E left, but I don't know. Oh my God, again, this has never happened. Huh, this is so interesting. Well, Fingerprints is the answer to the video um, <laughs> for, oh, this is so funny. Anyway, it doesn't matter what the answer is because anybody who comments is going to be entered. Uh, it's just so funny that um, I can't tell you if you've even won. <laughs> so anyway, a little bit of editing, humor, there you go. Um, Sorry to out you there, you know, Silk and Sonder, but uh, there you go. <laughs> anyway, um, monthly expense tracker, word scramble. Diver, D-I-V-E-R, is that the word? Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, we've got, here's where the week start. So you're going to have 
Uh, this is where it's this is what it looks like before I do all of my decorating of each week so you get they have the weekly to do's I would I mean I do way too much there's no way everything I need to do would ever fit in that box sorry um, but things I want to feel I leave that major uh, weekly major three goals I do that but I put that here um, let me show you so I put my top three. I think that's a great thing. Um, but then here I do the feels there, but then I put my books. So these are the books that I'm reading in that week. If you're someone who likes um, to track things, there's even more places to track things here. That is so much and way too much tracking for me. It starts to give me anxiety. So I cover that up every week. But I love having places to decorate. So that really works for me. You have a meal plan. I have, um, as I say, I've got a different planner now that deals with exercise and meal planning. So um, I cover that up and make it my focus. There are seven things that I'm focusing on um, every week in terms of my different jobs, the different things that I do for fun, um, and then my house and my family. And so I uh, decorate that differently. And then my mind, body, health plan. I just think about what I have to do in the evenings each night after the work. And then my shopping list, I do leave that for when there are things that I need to remember that I need to get. And then the things I'm loving, I uh, am not great at filling that part out. Um, I'm working on it because I do really like that section. Um, same thing with uh, the weekly reflection here at the end, which I'll show you here. The rose, the bud, the thorn. I really like that, but I haven't been doing it consistently. We've got... Then this is what the week would look like. So this is actually the week we're in right now. I'm recording it on this day. So that's this week in the previous planner. So it's nice that they give you that overlap. Then here's the first full week of October, which if they wanted, they could just start here, but they always do that overlap for you. There's also, I don't know if you've noticed, but there are quotes in each of these corners, which I try not to um, cover up. And then there's a quote here. I still wish this page was blank, but that's okay. I understand. Um, but I like to decorate this page with these things. Then here's the second full week of October. The third full week of October in the fourth full week of October. And then they just get you through the months. They give you Monday and Tuesday of the month of October. So you get the whole month of October. And then you have those blank pages at the end. So that's what that it looks like initially. Um, I am now going to uh, off camera do a little bit of decorating and then I'm going to come back and walk you through what I did and show you how I plan for the week. Um, I will, however, before I turn off the camera, although it's going to be almost immediate for you, it's going to be a little while for me, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to uh, decorate and be with this planner um, all month. So the first is this is a charm this is from boutique charms and her collaboration with jojo apple prints uh, they both had this super cute haunted house um and then boutique charms put these this little ghosty on here and of course these charms so he is going to guard my planner all month um usually if you watch this channel you know i choose um choose pens that match the cover just bought these dual tip earth tone pens from Erin Condren uh, and they just I mean it could it be more perfect in terms of the tones and the and it just really can't um, and so um, I'm just gonna use these I always choose six pens so here they are I will um, in just a second make sure they don't bleed and then I am going to decorate the first week um, with these washies and with some stickers all right these are the stickers that i am found <laughs> these are my uh crafty bee design studio stickers the theme for the week uh, for me is going to be 
fall florals. And of course, what says fall more than sunflowers. But then I also found this uh, kind of, she calls it this ghoul gang. It was a free set that she sent out uh, for the last sale she was in. And I just loved these flowers. I don't know what they are, but they're kind of like pink sunflowers. And so I just had to throw these together. It's going to be a little strange, a little different. And for that, I'm just so excited. So I cannot wait to show you what it's going to look like. All right. I will be right back. All right, I am back. I have done a little bit more in my silk and saunders. I want to walk you through what I've done. Added my name and my number in case anyone ever finds it. I haven't decided yet how I want to decorate the month, so I haven't done that yet. I set up my pumpkin, uh, but I haven't picked my oranges. I had to find six different orange highlighters um and make those um orange and brown um to do the my mood which is going to be my hunger tracker but i did add the little stem at the top so it'll be obvious that it's a pumpkin i added my habits and then i created my own bingo board with things to do for october Things, apple picking, buy a pumpkin, make a jack-o'-lantern. And then I have decorated this first week. And seriously, how cute is this? I just love these little pops of pink. Um, yeah, I am just super happy with how this turned out. Uh, it's like night and day. I just like, love it. Just think it's just a little, I don't know. It's a little different, but I just really enjoy it. And now what I want to do is walk you through how I use this part and kind of just have you do a little plan with me. Let's um, pull out some of these pens. These are the pens I'm going to use this week. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the green. These are a dual tip highlighter, like chisel tip pen on one end and then a very thin pen on the other. So this is where my top three will go. These are going to be my books. Sometimes I put reading, sometimes I put books. So these are my feels. I might need to grab, let's do just a regular pen here. Let's just do black. It's just not quite dark enough to show, but now it will. Then I just usually call this my focus. And then this is my night. All right, um, and so the feels is this is what I want to feel this week. It's gonna be a, a big week, um, but it should be kind of a re more relaxed week because um, I'm not having to go to a lot of different places for work. I'm just going into the office. Uh, let's see. So sometimes if I can't figure out what I want to feel, I'll look at a feelings wheel. I'll see if I can drop one here in the uh, picture in picture. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I'm worried about this week. I'll just go with, I think I want to just feel creative. So I'm going to go back to the green here. Um, I might actually add, go back to this chisel tip. And. I'll just feel creative that's my goal um I'm gonna have to look I use um I use Goodreads to remember all the books that I'm reading so I'll write those in once I'm looking at that um my top three um 
need to again like be kind of focusing on what I need to do this week um but I think my top three is probably gonna be like my patreon group so let's put that as number one uh let's see number two I could have had could have put choir and number three three is let's see we've got patreon we have choir and then well i'm gonna put teaching It'd be good if i can get ahead i have some classes that start i think the following week or in two weeks Um, and so, yeah, I think they start the 19th. So I still have two weeks, but I want to try and get ahead. Then the focus area. All right. So maybe third time, fourth time is the charm. I don't know why, but my camera or my phone keeps shutting off just randomly, um, as I record this video. So maybe I'm just not supposed to tell you what I do, but let me see if we can try this, try to do this now pretty quickly. Um, I just don't have the energy as much to keep going. So my apologies. My focus areas, there are seven major focuses that I uh, have in my life. These first five actually already have a planner of their own. And then I just kind of write on here the, the kind of big thing that I need to work on. Um, so UMGC is where I, my nine to five job. I teach for multiple schools. I have a podcast. I have a Patreon. I PR for five shops. I have a YouTube channel. And I've got home life. Uh, so this week, the things, these are like the major things that I'm working on uh, that I want to be inspired by. Uh, and so I've written those things down, uh, including my uh, trying to figure out my Halloween costume. Uh, my husband already has his set up with the friends. So now I've got to figure out what I want to do. Uh, we're thinking maybe like 90s films. So now i got to figure out if there's a character from a 90s film I want to portray. Then the nights, these are the things that I'm doing in the evening after work because I have a traditional, uh, you know, nine to five job, quote unquote. Uh, and this week, um, that job uh, is very traditional. Some weeks I uh, travel to different bases. Some weeks I work late, but I'm not doing that this week. Uh, so I just to figure out what I'm going to do in the evenings. I know I have choir um, and then the rest of my calendar is on the device that has been shutting off all day and not working the way I wanted to. Um, but also, you know, it's on my phone calendar. So I'll use that to look at the evenings and then any evening that is free, I will fill with things like the podcast and um, Instagram and posting and uh, Patreon. So I'm pretty sure I try to leave choir for, or not choir, try to do, uh, edit the podcast on Tuesdays. It goes out on Thursday. So, um, I do the initial editing and then my, um, co-lead co-host, uh, does her, um, piece of that. And so I like to get that out. So she's got a full day to do that. Then on this page, it starts with the to-dos here at the top, Instagram, my schedule, and my notes. The, um, let me show you what this looks like on a regular week. Um, so the to-do I do, uh, I create that morning or the night before. Uh, these are the things that need to get done that day. Um, sometimes that's based on what my Patreon uh, things are. Sometimes it's based on my schedule. Um, and then I've got my notes, just things that I might remember or can help myself with for the next day or so. Um, and so the, I, the Instagram part, I have another planner that I use and I write down everything I want to put on Instagram for the week. And then I decide on Monday, well, usually on Sunday, actually what day I want to post. Some of that is set by my PR schedule. Um, there are certain days of the week in which I am asked to post for certain shops. And so I do that. Um, but some of it is just trying to spread out over the week what I want to talk about, what I want to do. Um, and because uh, otherwise I would just do everything on the same day because um, if I was available, that's that's what I, what I do and how I'd spend my time. <laughs> um, and then uh, the schedule is also on my calendar for things that are uh, at a specific time. So that's where these are. Um, and then notes is just the notes. 
this is the only one of my seven planners that actually walks around with me everywhere I go. Um, this kind of sits in my purse um, and that's why it does get uh, my system has lots of duplications in it so you'll find I you know I break my schedule but it's also on my phone um, but I do that because of course writing it down helps me remember it but also um, because this is the only thing I have with me uh, so even if I've got something in another planner if I don't have that planner with me I can't look at it um, and this one goes with me pretty much everywhere and anywhere that I can't then I do of course have my phone with me for those um, schedules that are like required that I get something done at a specific day and time. Um, I also use the the shared calendar on my phone um, for those things that like my husband and I share a car so those things that need a car he needs to know when I need it I need to know when he needs one etc. All right um, I think I've been allowed to get through this part I'm sorry I wasn't able to do it with you live I promise I really did try. Um, let me know what you think of this kind of strange combination of the sunflowers, uh, but also the night flowers with these pink and black um, bats that just kind of add to it. Um, I'm really enjoying the, the kind of strange uh, color combination, different color combination. It's not one I would, it's not actually strange. It's just not one that I would normally work with, um, but I'm really invite, enjoying it. And then of course, like these are Van Gogh's flowers on a washi and I'm really enjoying that little, um, little nod to uh, art, I guess. All right, thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, if you, I'm hoping through this, you can really see how you can make silk and sonder your own and really how you can make any planner your own. Uh, if you have any questions about silk and sonder in general, uh, they, I am not an ambassador for them. I am not uh, paid to do this. I just really uh, enjoy the product uh, and uh, really I am hoping that this helps you. If there's anything you need to see that I am not showing you, let me know. And if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas, anything, please message me. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being here today. Don't forget to hit subscribe and have a fantastic week. Bye.